Yo guys, what's going on? Jackson here from Rune TCG, and today I'm very excited to show you guys the final archetype for set two. And I'm also pretty proud to announce that I did finish set two over the weekend. So, um, expect tons of videos on me showing you the rest of those cards. I'll show you some strategies, maybe a battle video, and just get hyped for eventually when those packs could come in. I haven't really done anything with that yet on the Game Crafter. Because I was hoping I could make like a tutorial video for the Game Crafter by like doing set two, showing you guys how I do mine. So I think that'd be pretty nice. But before I get into it, make sure to sub subscribe. And if you want to get a set one pack on the Game Crafter, those are done. Um, those have been done for a while. Make sure to check the link in the description. And if you want to join the Discord, uh, feel free to. It's I'd like you to, but um, let's just get into the video. So I've shown you the first card for it, but it's actually changed a lot. Originally, this archetype was going to be just an archetype, like, buffing each other. Yeah, sorry for that, but like I was saying, the original strategy for this archetype was it's just going to be tons of, like, symbiotic animals and stuff, and they're working together, and they're just, like, um, and they're just going to buff each other up, and it's just going to be a really like, weak archetype, you know? But instead, I decided to add a whole new mechanic to the game for this archetype, like I kind of did for every other archetype, just to kind of make it fair, because this is a white archetype, and white is probably the weakest um, color right now. So, definitely, let's just get into it. So the first card is Togeta Kleena, 15 HP, 5 attack. Um, yeah, it costs 0 for it to attack, but its ability is really good. It says, whenever a minion is healed, search your deck for a Togeta minion and put it in your hand. This is really powerful because um, healing is the main like strategy of this archetype. They just want to heal each other, and this is the card draw for the archetype, and it's really important. So, definitely a really good card here. Next, we have Togeta Bloob. Uh, 170 HP, 60 attack, and its ability is amazing. It says, during each end phase, this minion heals all damage on it. So, basically, this heals itself every turn. And it procs to get a cleana every turn if it took damage. So this is a really powerful card if you're setting up for this archetype. And it works well with another card I'll show later. And this is, this is a really interesting archetype because it doesn't even have any, like, really big minions like there's only two costs really so next we have to get a octava 120 hp 90 attack and its ability says this minion may have three items attached to it because it's an octopus um and whenever an item is attached to this minion you may heal all damage off of this minion so it's just another healing and, and it heals itself and have being able to hold multiple items is really powerful and while there is an item that makes it so you can hold more items it's just easier to have just a minion that has that ability. Next we have Togeta Anglefish. Fish, 70 HP, 60 attack. And it says one play to heal all damage from two minions on your bench or your active minion. So, really powerful card here. It's just another healing card. And it procs the Togeta Kleena to draw. And it'll proc this final card, Togeta Yulio, Jolo. 50 HP, 50 attack, and it says whenever a minion is healed, this minion gains 25 attack and HP. So this card is really powerful really quickly, you know, and it can just attack for, it can get monstrously powerful. And this is kind of the, like the big boss of the archetype, even though it costs one for it to attack. Nothing over two runes um, is in this archetype, and that kind of plays for the archetype. Like this kind of plays for the color, because this color is all about spamming cards and drawing cards. So, he, having a healing mechanic into white, I think, makes it a lot more, like, uh, I don't know, I think it makes it a lot more fun to play, and, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, tell me in the comments section down below what you guys think about these these cards. I definitely, I really like this archetype, uh, I just want to know what you guys think about it, so I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.